City of Saline versus Mohammed Mufid, 22S000128. Yes. Mr. Mufid, could you state your name for the record, please? Mohammed Mufid. You're here today on a speeding ticket that was issued to you on April, no, I'm sorry, February 20th, 2022, on Woodland Drive near Crescendo in the city of Saline, Washtenaw County, Michigan. The ticket was issued to you for one to five over 40 and a 35. The penalty for that is $120 in fines and court costs and one point on your driving record. Um, what would you like to do today? Would you like to admit or would you like to have a hearing? You're eligible to keep the point off your driving record through a driver improvement course offered by the Secretary of State. I'm, I'm not inclined to amend this because you have so many speeding tickets. Already. I don't have any speeding tickets. I got zero points. I didn't say anything about points. Let me make sure this is your driving record. And, it, and I haven't been pulled over in like a, two years before that. that. Yes, I know that. Your birth date is uh, 5 17 It was just my birthday two days ago. I was wondering maybe you can give me a break. I, I, I'm, I'm, here? I'm a I just told you I'm not I'm not inclined to give you a break. You have a speeding ticket from 2008, a speeding ticket from 2011, a that's, that's um, over 10 years ago, man. Speeding ticket from 2012, speeding ticket from 2014, another one from 14, another one from 14, one from 15, another one from 15, and a third one from 15. So yes, you're right. You're not a speeder right now, other than this ticket, or maybe you haven't been caught on the other ones, but I'm not inclined to change it. You already got quite a break from Officer Flynn. And you're- Officer eligible. Flynn here? Yep. Okay, uh, I'll just take it to the hearing. I don't know why everyone gets a break but me. I don't know what I did. It's been the eight other years people, since the, I got a speeding ticket. The other people that I, that were given breaks were either yeah. given them at the offer of the police okay. officer. Uh, maybe I'll go to hearing. Don't stop interrupting me. No. Maybe Officer Flynn is inclined to give you a break. I haven't asked him yet. Officer Flynn, any opinion about that? Uh, Your Honor, I stopped him for nearly 20 miles over the post to speed limit. Uh, I gave him a break for one to yeah. five. Right. Okay. So you can raise your right hand, Mr. M uh, Mufid, and we'll have your hearing. Is your hand raised? I'm going to have to hire a lawyer. So you'd like I'm to have hire a, a lawyer. Okay. So you're going to, you'd like to remove this and have a formal hearing? Yes. Okay. You'll get a notice it's, of when It's crazy. Happened. You're judging me off something that happened 10 years ago. That's what's no, crazy. No, no, no. That's not... Okay, I was going to tell I was going to explain it to you and you interrupted me. The people that got a break today had driving records that were entirely clear or had one thing on it. They did not have nine speed, prior speeding tickets. So that's that's the difference between your case and the other cases. Miles set. Yep. All right. Thank you, Honor. Thank you. State of Michigan versus Maurice Anderson, 2240-17394. You have to turn your microphone yes. on, Mr. Anderson. Hi, could you state your name, please? Maurice um, Terrell Anderson. Mr. Anderson, you're here today on a speeding ticket. The ticket was issued to you February 9th, 2022 on... Whitaker near Talladega in Augusta Township for speeding 25 miles per hour or more over the speed limit. You were ticketed for 64 and a 35. The penalty for that is $180 and four points. You can admit responsibility or we can have a hearing. What would you like to do? Uh, have a hearing. All right, could you raise your right hand, please? Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in this matter is the truth and nothing but the truth. Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead when you're ready, Trooper Schreiber. Yes, ma'am, on 2-9 of 2022, um, approximately 4 p.m., I was sitting stationary at the old Augusta Township uh, Fire Hall on Whitaker Road near Talladega in Augusta Township, Washtenaw County. 
Um, at that time, I was uh, activating my uh, stationary radar, which I then observed a vehicle traveling northbound Whitaker Road at a high rate of speed, uh, which then proceeded to give a, a steady reading of uh, 64, 64, then 63, 60, all the way down to 55 before it ended up passing my location. I then proceeded to pull out on the vehicle and conduct a traffic stop on uh, Whitaker Road uh, north of Talladega. Um, at which time uh, I advised the driver the reason for the traffic stop. Uh, he advised that he thought he was going 60 miles per hour. Um, I have received several complaints at that location concerning speeders going through there. And that was the reason for me sitting there. Um, and uh, based on his driving record, I did not feel that it was appropriate to give any breaks at this time. And I proceeded to issue a citation for six in a 35 mile per hour zone. I am a certified radar operator and have been for over 20 plus years. And I did verify my radar both before and at the end of my shift. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Mr. Anderson. Um, I didn't get to explain myself when I did get pulled over, but I was coming down Whitaker and um, a white pickup pulled out of the trailer park right in front of me. And I didn't slow down, I went around him. And as I went around him, I did speed. And um, when I came up to the 35, I knew I was speeding. But the reason for me speeding is because I passed somebody that pulled in front of me. He pulled right out you in front of me. You can't speed to pass. You can't huh? speed to pass. You don't get to speed to pass somebody. OK, it was either that or um, rear end him. Well, okay. What do you think the speed limit was at the place where you passed him? 45. So you had to go 20 miles per hour over the speed limit to get around someone? You must have been speeding already. No, I wasn't speeding already. I told you the guy just pulled out right, pulled right out the trailer park, right in front of me. Did you see and anything? Around. Did you see a white pickup truck, Trooper Schreiber? Or anything? Uh, no, I did not, ma'am. And also, uh, I just note that uh, there's also two other infractions that still are not on his driving record back on 526 of 2021 and 822 of 2021 concerning okay. uh, another for infractions. That he got a uh, double parking or something like that for? No, they're uh, still in uh, criminal procedure. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, So I think this obviously happened. I think you've admitted to it, Mr. Anderson. Um, the only thing that I would be willing to do if, if Trooper Schreiber is not objecting is, is lower the uh, speed so that you would be eligible to do the driver improvement course. Um, we need to lower it to something that has three points or less. Ma'am, the only thing that I would object to is just the fact of the stuff that you're not seeing on his driving record yet. And that's, it's... Um, what are those? Can you see what the citations are for? Um, I, I don't know if I can discuss that in front of the court right now. It's are uh, not speeding tickets, though? Uh, they're uh, ones concerning, uh, I believe in uh, Trooper Smith is here right now, um, involving both of them. Okay, are they... Are they... Uh, One's are, they moving him, violation, uh, are they moving violations or are they criminal charges? Uh, moving violations. Okay. And they're just not on his record because he's filed something to... to no, it's uh, involving uh, submitting to the prosecutor concerning uh, future criminal... I see. Okay. Yes, yes, ma'am. Trooper Smith here. Uh, yes. They're, they're both criminal proceedings, not... Uh, traffic. They're, criminal, they're criminal proceedings, not civil infractions. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to find you responsible, Mr. Anderson. I'm just trying to decide whether or not I'm gonna give you any kind of an amendment on this. I'm looking at your driving record to help make that determination.
I mean, if it does help the court, Trooper Smith again, um, there is a uh, flea and elude out of Wayne County that I was involved with, with Mr. Anderson that okay. is still pending. And what's the event, what's the event date for that? Uh, I have no timetable as Wayne County's okay. pretty backlogged. Ma'am, no, it's I involving, mean, you... uh, it's, it's, uh, e it's either on the 526 or it's the 822 of 2021. It's involving okay. a Polaris. Okay. All right. I think, I think that, that what, I what, I'm, what I'm being that. told today, go ahead, Mr. Anderson. No, you talking about some of my slingshot? No, we're we're not dealing with Polaris. that. He said Polaris. He said something about Polaris. We're not, we're not dealing with that today. Oh, why did he bring it up then? Because because what the I was just about to say what the troopers are are telling me is that there your driving record is bad, <laughs> and what they are telling me is that it's it's actually even worse than I can see because there are some pending criminal charges against you. And the reason that they're telling me that is, is because it's the opinion of Trooper Schreiber that you sh I should not give you a reduction on this charge. And he's letting me know why. So we're not handling those matters. He's just informing me that that is part of what's on your driving record. I'm not giving you a reduction. I'm finding you responsible for the ticket as written. The fine is $180 and you have 10 days to pay that, you have the right to file an appeal. If you wanna have Judge Simpson hear your case and try to get a break from Judge Simpson and the prosecutor, you can file an appeal. You have seven days to file an appeal and you can call the court clerks and ask them how to do that. Any questions? No, no, I have no questions. I, I wanna know why they brought up, brought up my case. I just I told you, I just told you why. That, okay. All okay. right, I'll pick you Goodbye. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. That's all I had for you, Trooper Schreiber. State of Michigan versus Elizabeth Benedetto, 2240 I'm here. Good morning. Could you state your name? Elizabeth Benedetto. You are here today, Ms. Benedetto, on a careless driving ticket. The ticket was issued to you on February 14th, 2022, on northbound US 23 near mile marker 42 in Ann Arbor Township, Washtenaw County, Michigan. It says there was a um, crash, a traffic crash uh, that led to the citation here. The careless driving is $200. And I'm going to double check the points. Uh, three points for careless driving and $200. You can admit responsibility or we can have a hearing. Um, I would like to have a hearing, please. Could you raise your right hand, please? Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in this matter is the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Whenever you're ready, Trooper Ryan, you can go ahead. Your Honor, Trooper Ryan, Michigan State Police, Brighton Post. On the 14th, of February 2022 to approximately 3.20 a.m. I was dispatched to a single unit traffic crash on northbound US 23 in the East Triple Interchange. Now, when I arrived on scene with the fire department, I observed one vehicle later determined to be driven by Ms. Benedetto uh, that was crashed in the roadway and Ms. Benedetto had possible injuries. Uh, what I determined from the evidence of the scene, uh, Ms. Benedetto was in the curve uh, for northbound to on northbound US 23 to continue northbound in the East Triple. Uh, she ran off the roadway, to, she lost control of her vehicle, ran off the roadway to the right, struck a concrete wall, overturned, and came to rest upright. Uh, the driver, Ms. Benedetto, said she was hanging up a phone call right before the crash and had not slept since 0600 the day before, uh, so just about 21 hours before the crash. I cited the, the driver of Unit 1, Ms. Benedetto, for careless driving, and Ms. Benedetto was transported to the hospital. And you chose careless because of her statement that she was sleep deprived and also using her phone? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Thank you. Go ahead, Ms. Benedetto. Um, so I don't remember a whole lot of the um, instances after the accident. I was diagnosed with a pretty severe concussion, have been out of work for, um, was out of work for about six weeks. Um, 
but I had since gone back and checked. I, I'm not sure. I don't remember talking much about like being on the phone or why I said that I went back and checked. I had not made a phone call since I left the parking lot where my car was parked until I called my parents to let them know I was going to the hospital. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure why I thought I had been on the phone. I guess I'm just not sure how the accident happened at all. I don't remember a whole lot of it. Um, what do you remember? I, um, the only thing I remember is I know that I made hang a phone on, call. Hang on one second, Ms. Benedetto. If, it, if, I, if you are not Trooper Ryan or Magistrate Fink or Ms. Benedetto, turn your microphone off. Um, Go ahead. I remember I was only on the highway for a few minutes. I remember um, someone talking to me outside my car. Um, I'm not sure whether or not I lost consciousness even. Um, and I know I called into work, but it based on the time that I made that phone call into work that I saw like, you know, on my recent phone calls on my phone, I it, like at the time it, it was like 30, 45 minutes between then and when I called my parents and like, I was only on the highway for not even five minutes. So the timing just doesn't add where up did there. You enter the, where did you enter the highway? I had been at a park and ride, um, like on the Plymouth road park and ride and, um, entered 23 trying to head back to 94 to go home. Yeah. So it was, I was barely on the highway from my understanding okay, so before the accident. I don't, so you weren't going the right way to get to 94. Oh, you ended up, you ended up North uh, trooper. Ryan just testified that you were northbound on us 23. You were trying to get back to grass Lake. Yes. Yeah. That, that is a hundred percent the wrong way to go from Plymouth. You could have, I think, gone uh, east, I'm sorry, west on um, M14 there, but that's not what happened, correct, Trooper Ryan? She was continuing. Correct, correct, was northbound. Okay. So, Your Honor? Yes. If I may, I'd like to make a motion to amend this citation to speeding limited access 6 to 10. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to find you responsible as amended and I'm amending the ticket to limited access speeding six to 10. Okay, so that only has one point on your driving record. You'll then be eligible to do a driver improvement course to keep the one point off of your driving record. Um, I'm finding you responsible because it's clear that you, for whatever reason, did not know what you were doing, maybe because you were so tired, but that's, that is unsafe. And um, whether you fell asleep while you were driving or were distracted, or I don't know what happened and it doesn't sound like you do either, but what we know is that you weren't where you expected to be and you were involved in a crash that was severe enough that you needed to go to the hospital. So I'm finding you, as I said, responsible as amended. We're amending to six to 10, um, limited access speeding six to 10. I'm gonna keep the fine at 200. You have 10 days to pay that. Do you have any questions? You can file an appeal if you'd like Judge Simpson to um, hear your case. You can file an appeal that has to be done within seven days. Otherwise you can pay that fine within 10 days. Any questions? Um, so fine within 10 days. And then the, if I want to do the course that will come through my email. I know comes through the regular mail from the secretary of state. Okay. Okay. Anything thank else? You. No, thank you. All right. Thank you. Is that all we had for Trooper Ryan? I think so. That's all we had. Is that all we had for Weldy? He had those two. He has this other one, Bruce Marty. It's Bruce Marty on. You want to hang out for a while, Trooper Weldy? He was on. Yeah. I don't know he, what he, he He was. I think we, he, I, I did see him on earlier. Um, 
I can. Yeah. Uh, I think that he failed the show last time. And then uh, um, he had a last time he called saying he didn't know he had his hearing. Um, Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Hello? I'm in the middle of talking to someone else. I'm sorry, this is for Bruce Marty. This is his wife. Okay, thank he you. Doesn't, I'm sorry, we didn't know how to do this video chat. So he's here, okay? Yep, great. State of Michigan versus Bruce Marty, 214006558. Mr. Marty, could you state your name? Yeah, Bruce K. Marty. You're today on a ticket for impeding traffic. The ticket was issued to you on Washtenaw Avenue near Deke in Pittsfield Township, Washtenaw County, Michigan. The ticket was issued for impeding traffic on January 5th, 2022. There's a note on the ticket that Trooper Weldy observed you stopped at a green light on your phone in front of a city bus. And then um, uh, he issued the ticket for, for impeding traffic, which is $180 and no driver's license penalties. You can admit responsibility or we can have a hearing. No, we need to have a hearing. This thing should have been issued. All right, could you raise your right hand and then let me know your hand is issued? I mean, is raised? Yep. Yes. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in this matter is the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. I do. Okay. Trooper Weldy will testify first when he's finished. Then you can tell me what you want me to know, Mr. Marty. Go ahead, Trooper Weldy. Yes, on uh, January 5th of this year at approximately 9.35 a.m., I was uh, in the area of Washtenaw Ave and uh, Drake Street. It's uh, right there in front of a plaza, um, the stoplight there. Um, as I was approaching that light, I, I observed that it was green and um, that there were no cars in front of it and that there was a bus behind that uh, vehicle kind of kicked out into the road because it could not get in to pull into the little off ramp for the bus stop loading area. I drove in the left lane up next to it uh, saw that he was on the phone um, and I was wondering if he had car problems or whatnot. I actually backed up and got behind the vehicle as I was going to help help him because it was, the light's still green. Uh, I then activated my lights and he pulled into the plaza and I learned that he was an Uber driver and that he the, his client had changed directions and he was programming it into his, <clears throat> into his GPS. I told him that he could have very easily pulled it into the parking plaza and entered his GPS with a change directions instead of the bus being kicked out, partially his rear end being kicked out because it couldn't get in, in there and it would have been safer for everybody. I then issued a citation for impeding traffic. So, so he was sitting at that green light long enough for you to pull up Approach. beside him, back up, and get behind him. Correct, ma'am. Okay. With the city bus unable to pull into the, the loading area. <clears throat> the city bus is sitting there the whole time also. Right. It, it didn't have room to get in there. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Marty. Yeah, I don't recall any of that thing with the bus at all, to be honest with you, but uh, that's neither here. Your microphone is off. Can you hear me now? Yes. All, okay. The last thing I heard you say is you didn't recall anything with the bus. No, I don't remember even seeing a bus. But it, what happened was this is I've been driving uh, all around the United States for 25 years commercially in a cargo van delivering auto, auto parts. And there's really nothing on my record, but that's neither here nor there. But uh, the whole thing here, uh, my wife was having some medical issues. So I was doing, uh, actually it was Lyft, not Uber, same thing. But I was doing that just temporarily while she, to see her through her medical situation with her blood, blood pressure issues and stuff like that. So anyway, I was just doing that. I wasn't real familiar with the area at all. Like, uh, you know, I did graduate from Eastern, but that doesn't does matter a long time ago. Anyway. Did I lose them again? 
Maybe he should just talk about the incident now. He's gone again. Mr. Marty, I can't hear you. Are you still with me? All right, Trooper Weldy, I don't need you to stay. I've heard your testimony. If he comes back, I can make a decision without you remaining. There's nothing, there's no reduction further than impeding traffic. So um, either I'll find him responsible or not. You're, you're welcome to leave if you'd like. Have a good day, ma'am. Thank you. That's fine, ma'am. Like I said, I always okay. have this for the warrant. Sturm, have can you hear me now? Are you Mr. Marty again? Yeah, yes. this, my phone keeps cutting out. I don't know what, what's going okay, on with go it. Go ahead. Just tell me. I understand your background, all of that. I, what I really need to know is what happened on the day this ticket was issued to you. Yeah, and I did just for the record, I did leave a, a written explanation with the with the magistrate. Uh, um, I, I don't I don't think you did. I don't or if you did, it never got to me. So what do you how do you think you well, the, the, the magistrate called me and said, said, what do you want me to do with this? So I know she got it, but I don't know what happened after that. But okay. Anyway, okay, wait, I, wait, 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 wait. I'm the, I, I'm the one that called you. So you sent me a letter that said what? Just explained well, everything? Yeah, yeah, I explained everything. Okay. I'm going to exp I explain it to you again right now. Okay? Yeah, because I don't have the letter in front of me and I, I, don't, I, got, I don't remember I, our conversation. Okay, no problem. Uh, yeah, what happened was uh, I was I've been driving all over the country in a cargo van delivering freight. The only reason I'm bringing yeah, it I up. Heard is, you. Okay, okay you got that. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, the only reason I'm bringing it up is I wasn't used to doing this lift. I was just doing it temporarily because to see to get my wife through some medical issues with her blood pressure and stuff. So anyway, to make a long story short, I was doing lift and the customer all of a sudden grabbed me by the shoulder. Jeez. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm not talking to him anymore. Yeah, this is right. Bruce Marty. I'm back. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna, going on with my phone. Okay, I don't Mr. know what's Marty, going on with my I don't Mr. know what's Marty, going on with my phone. Yeah. Don't tell me the background again. Start with January 5th or whatever day it was. You're sitting on the roadway. Start there and just tell me what happened. No, I, I understand. I was only giving you the other information. I don't just say the thing. Don't don't talk about anything else. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my patience with yeah, you, I can tell. you coming in and out. Okay, I got you. Okay, I'm not. I'm losing my patience too. Anyway, to make a long story short, uh, the, the, I was doing the lift temporarily, and what happened was the customer pulled me over to the side, grabbed my shoulders, and pulled me over to the side. I was scheduled to take her to a clinic near St. Joe's, and I thought maybe she had a medical emergency. I didn't know what to think, quite frankly, but it scared me. So I pulled over to see what she, see what was going on. And come to find out that Lyft had put the wrong computer information as to where I was going. And she was afraid she was going to be late again and jeopardize her job. So that's what happened. So were you, are, are you disagreeing with Trooper Weldy's testimony that you were sitting on the road with a green light? Yeah, I am just, I don't, I don't remember that at all. I don't, I don't I'm not saying he's, he's wrong. I'm just saying I don't remember that at all. All I remember is her grabbing me by the shoulder pulling over to the side of the road to see what was going on. When and, you say uh, pulling over to the side of the road, there's not a shoulder there. So do you mean you pulled you pulled to the towards the curb, but still in the through lanes? I, I thought I was on the shoulder. I, I don't, there's to be not honest, a shoulder. OK, I, I'm, I'm not disputing that there's not. I, mean, I thought I was on the shoulder. I didn't know. I was so dramatic of what happened. It was so, so instantaneous. That I, I just pulled over as far as I could, and I didn't know geographically whether it was on the shoulder or at the edge of the road. I really didn't know. I was just taken up in the moment with her grabbing me and everything. But I got the wrong information from Lyft, and what happened was she was worried about her job and losing yep, her job. Yeah, I understand that. How long do you think you were sitting there then? Where it, let's assume for for the, this discussion that you believed you were sitting properly. How long do you think you were sitting there? Not there, but not that long. I don't, you know, like I said, I how don't, long? I don't how how long? I don't know, a couple of minutes. Okay, so that's what Trooper Weldy testified to. You heard him testify that he saw you sitting at the green light. 
that, that a bus was unable to get where it needed to be because of where you were sitting, that he had enough time to pull up next to you and then back up and get behind you and turn his lights on, which I think is, is uh, I believe your testimony supports what Trooper Weldy told me today, which is that you were sitting in the roadway. I understand you're saying that you were not intending to block traffic, but that is in fact what happened. Well, I understand what you're saying, but the bottom line here is this, had it not been for the wrong information given to me and the customer grabbing me, this would have never occurred in the first place. The bottom line here is this, you were impeding traffic and you were given a ticket for impeding traffic. I'll disagree, and, I disagree, I'll just pay it, what the hell. Well, I'm finding you responsible, so I will Whatever. waive. I will waive the default fee. There was a thirty dollar default fee added on, and I will waive the default fee, so it's a hundred and eighty. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. Thank you. Bye. She's an idiot. Now I can't figure out how to hang up. Okay, Trooper Tweetmeyer, are you ready? Yes, ma'am, I am. All right. Um, actually, do we? how many does Leiden have? One. All right, let me get rid of Trooper Leiden because he only has one. And then you have three in Verant. Oh, Trooper Leiden has one person, two tickets. Okay. State of Michigan versus Hakeem Williams, 2240185238. A. Is Mr. Williams on the call? Yes, I'm here. Good morning. Could you state your name, please? Hakeem Williams. Mr. Williams, you received a ticket on February 10th, 2022 on westbound M14 near Huron River Drive in Ann Arbor Township um, for, there are two citations on the ticket. One is being a disqualified driver. The penalty for that is $330. Um, I don't know if there's driver's license points on that or not. I don't have that information available to me. And then the um, second infraction is for hours of service violation, which is $180. You can admit responsibility to either, both or neither. We'll have a hearing on whatever you don't admit to. Um. Hello, you can hear me, ma'am? Pardon me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, um, I admit to neither. Okay, could you raise your right hand, please? Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in these matters is the truth and nothing but the truth? I do. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, Trooper Lydon will testify first, then you can tell me what you want me to know. Go ahead, Trooper okay. Lydon. Okay, the date time listed on the citation, I observed a, uh, a box truck, commercial box truck, had an inoperable right side tail light. Uh, I stopped the vehicle, advised the driver of the violation, identified the driver as Hakeem Williams. He was licensed out of New York. And checking his license, it showed that his license was suspended out of New York, not in Michigan, but out of New York. That's what the return showed me. Uh, he didn't have a logbook or ELD, electronic logging device, with him, so I couldn't track his hours of service. Uh, carrier name and USDOT number wasn't displayed as required, and the company did not pay their UCR fee. Uh, so I just cited the driver for the two violations, the disqualified driver being suspended in New York and uh, the hours of service violation not having a logbook. And he was coming from Standish, Michigan, going to Dallas, Texas. Okay. All right, go ahead, Mr. Williams. Um, okay, so my license was suspended, but um, that's taken care of now. And as far as the logbook, um, I don't, we don't, I, mean, I don't own the truck. I just work for the company. So, yeah, I don't know why I wasn't in there or where was it in the truck as far as the truck. So, 
I don't. That's all I have for you. So the problem with no logbook is that Trooper Lydon then can't verify whether you are um, within the proper uh, hours, the 11 and 14 hour rules, because he doesn't have a way to know. So that's your responsibility to be able to provide that log to him. Okay. Uh, I mean, the, you're right that the owner of the truck should also be responsible for that. And, and the owner is, but it's the driver that needs to be able to produce that. So I'm finding you responsible for both of these. The total fines are $510. Uh, you can, um, I, I usually give 10 days. Do you need more time to pay that? Um, that's a lot of money. Is there any way I could get it reduced? Um... No. Do you need more time to pay that? Yes, I do. How much time do you need? Uh, how much time I could get? You, please just tell me how much time you need. I need two months to pay $500, man. No problem. 60 okay. days. And, okay. And um, can you give me information? I'm going to say the sticker. You, you also have the right to file an appeal if you'd like to have... Uh, Judge Simpson, hear your case. You do have to pay the fine, though, in order to file an appeal. So, so financially, you may not be able to do that. Um, if you want to file an appeal, you can call the clerk's office. You have to file an appeal within seven days. State of Michigan versus Adam L. Berry, 2240320045. Good morning. Could you state your name? Yes, Adam L. Berry. Good morning. Mr. Albari, you're here today on a ticket that was issued to you March 13th, 2022 on M14 near Curtis in Superior Township. The ticket was issued for improperly crossing a divided highway, crossing the median. The penalty for that is $140 in fines and court costs. And I'm just double checking the points. Two points. We can admit responsibility or we can have a hearing. I'd like to have a hearing, Your Honor. Would you raise your right hand, please? Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in this matter is the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Okay, Trooper Twitmeyer, you're still under oath. You can proceed when you're ready. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Trooper Twitmeyer, Michigan State Police, Bright Post. This was a traffic stop that occurred westbound M14 near Curtis Road, uh, Trooper Smith and myself were doubled up that night. Uh, this was approximately March 13th, 2022 at uh, 1.48 a.m. While eastbound M14, we observed a vehicle in the left lane, left shoulder, with his rear uh, reverse lights on, backing up. Uh, we pulled over to the right shoulder uh, just to stand by as he was right next to the median turnaround. This driver then turned in the median turnaround. Uh, we got behind him and made a traffic stop, westbound M14, uh, near Curtis Road. The driver advised um, that he was turning around to go back westbound as he was running low on gas. Um, he said he knew it was illegal, and that is why we issued the citation. It was clear, dry, light traffic, and dark conditions. Okay. Um, all right. Go ahead, Mr. Al Albari. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, uh, Trooper Tweetwire was correct. I uh, did Across the median, I was aware that it was not a legal uh, thing to do. This was simply an act of desperation. I had lost uh, my way of getting home. I was headed uh, back to Canton and uh, my phone had actually lost battery. So I could not use my maps. Um, I was very far out onto the highway and I thought that I was on the right highway to get back to Canton. However, I was on the wrong highway and I was headed quite some distance. Um, I decided at that time, since I had no more gas or I was actually close to zero, to make an evasive turn to get onto uh, the, the closest possible exit, which just happened to be on the other side of the highway. When I was pulled over, I was actually relieved because I didn't know if I had enough gas to get to that gas station. So I even asked, um, I believe I don't believe it was Trooper Tweet, I believe it was the other trooper, if I could actually have an assistance to be taken to the gas station uh, followed uh, so that in case my gas did run out that they would be there. Uh, this just happened to be a very bad night um, where I made a mistake with driving and had to, uh, you know, make a unfortunate move, but it was something that I simply had to do. 
Um, I did use my turn signals. I checked the other side of the highway to make sure that there were no other cars and uh, tried to make as safe of a turn as possible. So um, I did want to ask for a dismissal simply because it was something that I had no other choice but to do. Well, that, right. Okay, let's, let's start right there. Sure. These are the choices you had. Not let your car get so low on gas. Make sure your phone was properly charged. Make sure that you had previously looked at your map to try to figure out where you needed to be. Not, well, the, I, not I did drive have... somewhere that you were unfamiliar with without being prepared. Y yes, so, ma'am. Yes, Your so Honor. Lots of choices. Just to let you know, you... I did chart. I did put my phone into the charger that was connected to my car. Typically, it works. So because I was driving, I didn't look down to see if it was charging. I don't like to mess with my phone while I drive. And it turned out, as I checked one time while I was looking for the maps, that my phone had actually been it was off. So I it became a surprise to me. And at that time, I started realizing, okay, I'm low on gas. Well, maybe I'm on the right highway. Let's just relax and keep going. And as some time went on, my gas was running low. And it just so happened that I was still on the wrong highway. So I had to make an evasive action. I, I do apologize to the court and to the county for that. And I, no, I don't- I'm not, I'm not going to dismiss your case. Okay. Um, Trooper Tweet do you have an objection to a double parking? He has nothing else on his record. No, ma'am, that's fine. Okay. I don't usually amend these because it's dangerous. I understand. Um, you have a, a very good driving record. Thank you. And, and I will amend this to double parking and find you responsible for that. Thank you. Double parking is $180.